That's awesome. That's awesome. Stephen, if I might, uh, I also want to echo the comments and platitudes and accolades that uh, Michael Cooper uh, has already referenced. And personally, I, I appreciate your commitment and your passion to uh, AJGA and to the game. And, and so I just want to let you know, I personally thank you, admire you for that, and have learned from you. That's a big factor. I've learned from you as well, too. Thank you. Thank but you. let me ask you this yeah. as well. What, what opportunities does AJGA offer in regards to, di to uh, diversity uh, and inclusion? And, and I know you're quite involved in it. I think the number one thing that we created as a strategic initiative, and it's something that we've all rallied behind, staff, board, uh, players, uh, is our ACE grant program. And that's a financial assistance program uh, that we put in place 17 years ago uh, to support young men and women, underserved uh, young men and women, who have the talent to play on a national uh, scale, national level, but don't have the financial wherewithal. So under USGA rules, uh, we can provide uh, reimbursement for their food, travel, lodging, entry fees. Uh, and our ACE grant goes up to $5,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So you qualify for it um, through normal and customary ways that you would might even apply for uh, college aid. Um, and, and last year alone, we served over 220 young men and women and reimburse back to their families over $400,000. Oh, my goodness. So, so these, oh. are, these are kids that, that, you know, it's amazing when I think about, you think about golf, and I, there's so many stories of, of a young lady or a young man picking up the game, and their parents have never played. You know, to me, that, that young man or young, how did they get so good without a parent you know being involved how does that happen and it's everyone's got their own story so i think ace grant for me um we decided to come up uh and invest with kpmg uh to do a a, a diversity audit of the ajga uh they did a very thorough look at us uh, interviewed people and gave us things that we we could improve on and uh, so we created a diversity statement uh, because I'm my whole, you know, I feel, uh, Michael, and I'm glad you brought up the 100 interns. I feel that that is a great way that we can help the industry become more diverse. Because where, if you're, if you want to get into golf, how do you do that? I mean, you can, you can sign up and go to the PGM program, right? Uh, and, and go to four years of college, uh, get your PGM degree, and then you're an apprentice for three years. So there's seven years, you know, to kind of get going into, into the golf industry. Our summer internship where these young men and women are going to 12, 13 events and going to public, municipal, resort, private, dealing with superintendents, dealing with GMs, dealing with directors of golf, solving problems every day, uh, providing a service, knowing the rules, setting up the course. I, I think it's just a tremendous way for young men and women to get a taste of golf it's not for everybody we all know that uh it's it's a hard industry uh but it's a great industry so i think through the the hundred intern positions uh i can i can make an impact uh, in golf and uh we've been doing a good job of recruiting at hbcus i think we can do a better job uh, and we can get into that a little bit later, but um, uh, 
I, I think not only the internship, but I'm looking to hire full-time people. And then I'm placing people within the industry, as you mentioned, Michael, probably the thing I'm the most proud of uh, is just seeing these young people come to the AJJ, some of them with no, back, no golf background. And now they're in really neat careers, neat leadership positions, and doing a great job in golf. So 